today, we're actually back for a gameplay. I'm not going to be moaning today. Instead, we're going to be doing a little test. We're back with the Dream GTR. This is like my dream car. I'm not going to explain that. I'll leave videos linked that explains that. Today, we're going to go ahead and look at auxiliary parts. So since launch, I've not really seen anyone talk about auxiliary parts, weirdly enough. Um, but today, we're going to answer the question, do auxiliary parts actually make a difference? Now, of course, we have the active auxiliary parts. These are the ones that you have to enable yourself using the B button or circle. I don't know what it is on keyboard, so I'm sorry keyboard people, I can't represent. And then we have the passive, and the passive is what we are going to focus on today. Lap times, lap times, lap times, we love lap times. And that is what we're going to be setting in today's video. We're first going to go ahead and do this without any auxiliary parts. We are then going to go ahead and put in auxiliary pro power, and then we're going to go ahead and put in elite power, and we're going to see the difference between all the time. This is the R32 build, it, just in case if you didn't already know, I'll quickly go ahead and just run through all of these. You can see it's track, it's race, it's a, it's pro track, and we're actually going to get rid of this NOS, and we're going to go ahead and put five tanks in. I don't know why five tanks isn't in there already, because it's almost better in every single way. So I've already deselected uh, the actual auxiliary part at the moment. Let's go ahead and actually test it. Now, personally for me, I've used auxiliary parts like in my normal Let's Play of the game. I'm currently doing my second one on Xbox right now. I didn't notice that much of a difference to be honest with you. Obviously like it probably will make a difference but when I was just playing by myself generally I didn't notice it giving me any more power or anything across those lines. Didn't feel like I had a huge advantage but we're gonna go ahead and drive to Rare Bear. I don't know why I just didn't fast travel there. That probably would have made more sense. What I should say as well before we go ahead and get into this is make sure to subscribe for more racing gaming content. This is the place for news, memes, games and car girls. <laughs> so if you like any of the above make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe. You might find something you enjoy here. I've also really messed up. You guys will be able to hear the game audio, but I actually can't in my headphones. I think I've set it to the wrong output. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there. I don't know where I was. Whoa, wait, 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 what? Did you guys see how much the damage went down then? I feel like we should probably fix the car before we actually go into a race, because that was a bit mad. Right then, baby! Let's go ahead and set the first lap. Now, one thing I do quickly want to say is that the damage increase passive modifiers do make a huge difference. I've used all the damage increase ones for my um, just my general nighttime runs sometimes, and they make a huge difference. Whether it's the same for the nitrous, I'm not so sure, and maybe I can show you guys, you know, the damage uh, multipliers at some other point in a different video. Today, we're kind of just focusing on the nitrous stuff because it kind of like relates to the Gary series, which if you haven't seen, I will link down in the description. That's the series where we take cars and we time them. How exciting. How I'm treating this video is basically like Gary, but I'm just spamming the NOS, essentially. So we'll be able to see if, you know, that the NOS upgrades actually do make a huge difference. It's an interesting one, really. Um, I've not really seen anyone talk about the auxiliary parts an awful lot, which is quite weird because it's actually one of the new things they've put in the game. I don't think you can do a high rep nighttime run, you know. We're talking like two or three million without having some of those passive and um, active parts on the car. But like you kind of have to have them there, otherwise you're just really, really gonna struggle. Unless you're a sweat bag, of course, then you'll easily be able to do it. So as you can see by the fact we only have one tank of NOS, I have absolutely been rinsing the NOS. I've not really made any mistakes, that's the first that is for, for the rare bear. Usually, like, at this point in the video, we would have crashed out. Hopefully I haven't jinxed it. Touch wood. We are coming up to the final straight. I am really regretting not doing that much preparation for this video because I actually don't have anything to write down the time on. Probably could have done a little bit better time-wise, but anyway, we're coming up to the last corner. Bruh. I'm about to crash. I don't know how I didn't crash then. Not the cleanest of lines, but we hit a 301.69. Way! I probably could have done a little bit cleaner there. I'm going to make sure I can find a pen to note this down with. Right then, bitches. Let's go ahead and and put in some parts. Right, so first up, we're gonna go ahead and try Pro Power. Item that adds certain bonuses to your nitrous, either increased duration, increased output, or a mix of the two. That description sounds really weird. This will give us more power. I just wanna make that abundantly clear. They've not done a good job of wording that there. Come on, ghost. I'm not so certain there's gonna be a huge difference between this. I think, I, I, I imagine it'll be like maybe, a, maybe second, maybe, but I don't think. 
there's going to be a huge difference. I'm not seeing anyone, like, saying there is a huge difference with the auxiliary parts. We're going to go ahead and make sure we restart that one. Come on, that need for speed. Wow me. I am ready to be wowed. I'm ready for this game to really, really surprise me. And just make it like four seconds faster with the auxiliary parts. Give us the money. So am I noticing much difference? It is really hard to say. I'm trying to only use NOS on the kind of like straighter areas. Like obviously that was the corner. You know what I mean. I honestly have absolutely no clue on whether this is making a difference or not. We will soon find out. First lap was a 104. So actually quite slow that was a quite slow lap again we haven't really messed up though like we, if, if we have messed up we've messed up the same amount as we did in the last lap oh that was close that was really close go 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 so just to remind you guys the time to beat is a 301.69 go 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 that was a 203 right it doesn't look like this is making a huge difference it's r32 it's pretty good. I'm actually really happy with how this R32 is. Like, I've actually made one of the worst cars in this game handle pretty well. Right, here we go. Into the back straight. We've already caught up with some of the AI. So, I, I don't know if that means anything. And we're coming across the line there. And that was actually... I was actually slower. We did a 301.79. Now, that is probably because... I was a little bit shit. I'm gonna do that again. That's uh, that shouldn't be slower. Clearly though, that what that does prove is that whatever NOS is in here, at least on the pro level, doesn't make a huge difference. Otherwise, it would have been faster. Right, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna speed run that super fast. You ain't even gonna see me. I'm going that fast, like Sonic. Right then, so we're coming down to the back straight. If this isn't faster. I will be very, very confused because I think that was the best lap I've actually done so far. Right, we are coming across the line and that is literally a three minutes. Okay, I don't know what to take out of that because to be honest, I think I could probably do a 3.09 without the NOS as well. Clearly why, clearly pro level passive or, uh, you know, stuff. It doesn't actually make that much difference. I'm averaging the same amount of times that I would with no NOS. So let's go ahead and add the elite version in. If I'm not seeing at least a second difference, then I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, tell to you guys, really. I'm not going to lie. With the pro level NOS, I was kind of expecting to see a bit more of an improvement. Before we go into the next one, I just do quickly want to say, it's very clear when you put a different engine in the car, how much better or worse it is. But with the auxiliary part, at least that pro level passive one we just put in, it's not so obvious. It's a bit black and white sort of thing. Anyway, we're going to do this elite one. Hopefully, I can see a little bit more difference because at the moment, it's not doing it for me, Chief. If I don't see a 258, 259 from this, it's a weird one. That's a really, really weird one. A little bit of head in the So again, same principle. I am just going to spam the NOS when I have an opportunity to. To be honest, I don't really mind if the auxiliary parts don't have a huge impact. Like, it's not one of those things that I'm bothered really about. They're auxiliary parts. They're kind of bonuses to the car. It's not like, you know, an engine swap which should fundamentally change the car sort of thing. So it doesn't bother me that much, to be honest. I feel like I can definitely tell more of a difference in this car, but again, it's not like an engine swap. It's more kind of fine margins. I guess the main thing you'll get out of this video is deciding on whether you want to use the parts that I'm using in this video. Bruh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, I guess the main thing you'll take out of this video is if it's worth using the nitrous power parts over, say, the duration ones or even the mixed nitrous things. We're going to, you know, compare and mix all these in upcoming videos because I think it's just interesting. I've got a feeling power probably isn't the one you'd go for. I think if you'd make a build, especially if it was a clock type build, it makes much more sense for you to use the damage reduction or damage increase mods. I think those make a much bigger difference. I'm just gonna book in, flick it up, nice. Coming into the first lap with a 102, okay. If I remember correctly, the first one we did was a 104. So two seconds difference, pretty big. If it wasn't 104, then I'm just looking like an absolute twat right now. I'll straight him though, you think you're an elite gamer. You think you're a competitive Need for Speed player? Well, suck my kid. Right, we're coming into the final lap here with a 159, that is definitely faster. And I'm not going to put this one down just to my lines being faster. I can genuinely feel a little bit of a difference from the NOS this time. We are coming down the final stretch 
I, I reckon this is probably going to be at like a second faster maybe or maybe two seconds faster. I feel like the elite passive definitely does make a difference in comparison to the... Oh, I don't hit him. Don't hit him. Oh, oh, that is what it is. That was a 257. That was definitely faster. That was kind of more of the difference that I was expecting. This makes me feel like a right retard for not using this in the undefeated racing league. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to do that. Right, I don't want to compete in your elite, in your competition here. So I'm just going to come over to the side and drop it on bags. Oh, that is terrifying. Oh, no, she moved. Oh, you can see a tongue. That's so weird. The thing what you should take out of this video is that the pro level passive is pointless. You're not going to see major reductions taken out of your times. However, the elite passive, well, that's a little bit of a different story. Three seconds, that is a lot. That wasn't just because I was taking better lines or maybe I had a cleaner run. I think that's genuinely because it's faster. You can feel it. Like, it just kind of goes... Wah! Instead of oh. Undefeated Racing League, it's tomorrow on Xbox. I need to edit this video and actually finish my Xbox save because I haven't started it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, social medias down there as well. Stay safe and peace. We can go, we can go.